back everybody to the model works and to the first update on the 2016 box stock community bill hosted by Cliff at Roadhog 0822 not a lot to show you uh, just haven't had a, a lot of time to sit down and devote to a <coughs> excuse me, to a uh, long build session with a lot of stuff and work and uh, just a, you know, a lot of stuff going on and, and not a lot of build time uh, available right now. But I'll show you what I got. I'm going to go through everything that's color and clear and what we've used so far as far as what's been used on it. And then we'll go over the, uh, the model itself. We'll start with uh, over here on the left, the Delta Ceram Coat, multi-surface satin, acrylic paint. Next is the Model Master. Acrylic aluminum, the Model Master Acrylic flat black, the Model Master Acrylic gloss black, the Model Master flat clear, the Model Master gloss clear, and Model Master semi gloss clear. I, I decided to go with the test kit clear the heads in the front. The cross ram, uh, the heads the themselves are, uh, excuse me, the valve covers themselves are the flat black. The, Tester's flat black acrylic, and this flat black acrylic lays down just as smooth as glass. It, it does. You do need to seal it, and that was sealed with the flat clear acrylic. The block with the hemi arms was shot and sealed with the semi, with the uh, gloss clear. And then I'll go back over it uh, with some uh, some black wash to tone it down just a little bit. The uh, fan belt pulley assembly and the fan itself was shot with the Model Master gloss black and then what I did, and I, I know you're not going to be able to see it, I came back in with a brush and went over the belt itself with the flat black, excuse me, the flat clear acrylic and left the pulleys the gloss as well as uh, the fan and I came back over the fan with the semi-gloss to give it a satin, kind of a satin look. Uh, the Alternator and the intake, uh, the intake the exhaust manifold are the Model Master aluminum. The car, I left one color out. The carburetors are, or the Carter carbs are Anita's metallic titanium gold, and I thinned that down uh, with the 50/50 uh, with the Aztec and shot it through my airbrush. The Aztec thinner and shot it through my airbrush. The Velocity stacks were sprayed with the Model Master aluminum metalizer and buffed out. Really gives it a good looking uh, uh, brushed aluminum look. I really like the, the way that turned out. Underneath, just nothing, nothing out of the ordinary. Just simple. I didn't go with the body color on the on the chassis and what have you. Uh, I went with the chassis itself. Is the ceram coat. Uh, multi-surface satin and then that was sealed with semi-gloss uh, Model Master clear. The rear suspension, axle, uh, leaf springs, front suspension, cross member were done with the gloss black, testers gloss black acrylic and then cleared with the uh, gloss acrylic clear, uh, Model Master clear. The gas tank masked off and then uh, sprayed with the Model Master aluminum and then cleared with the semi gloss uh, testers, uh, semi gloss clear. Uh, the rear end uh, housing cover is buffing metalizer, testers aluminum plate buffing metalizer, and buffed out. Uh, the only other thing I have really to show you, and pardon me for reaching over you again, is you know, I'm not sure if you're in frame on that. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, are just the all the exhaust parts, uh, the, the muffler and, and the pipe assemblies, the drive shaft, uh, the rest of the dry, uh, the rest of the pipes for the exhaust are all buffing metalizer. They have not been buffed out. Uh, I will buff those out probably tonight and have those ready to. To uh, assemble to the chassis. So far. I haven't got a lot, like I said, I don't have a lot to show you, but that's where we're at. I think the, I really like the uh, the flat black 
valve covers on the, on the Henny. You could, those were a factory. You could get those from the factory. All right, that that's way. where we're at. Not much else to show you. I'll probably be doing, oh yeah, one other thing. I believe we're going to be going with House of Color Deep Lilac uh, Pearl. The only reservation I have about it, I did a couple spray outs with it over some, uh, some sheet, uh, sheet styrene that had been primered with uh, Dupacolor Gray Primer Sealer. And it, it was a little bit light for me. I was kind of looking for more of a, it leaned more towards the lilac side of, of, of the color spectrum and I'm not, I'm not crazy about that. Uh, it looks, you know, darker in the bottle, but once you get it out and it gets sprayed, it, it's, it's a little bit lighter. What I'm going to, I think, do is do a couple more spray outs over black primer and, and see if that darkens it up some. If not, I have some more House of Color uh, paint coming. Uh, that will, some will be used, I think I'm going to get in on uh, Freddy, H-Town Model Shops, House of Color, uh, group build, I think I'm going to get in on that, and I ordered one other color in case I don't like the way this, uh, this lilac pearl comes out over black primer, and we'll see, it, uh, but I'll have backup in if it doesn't, so, but for now that's all I've got, uh, until I talk to you again, take care of one another. May God bless you and your family. Don't take any crap from anyone. Check you later.